safe, but still terrified. Nuria Guider suffered a stroke when the gunfire began, and the mortars and airstrikes began falling in Tripoli. Her sister got her out. They traveled 300 kilometers to the nearest functioning hospital here in Tunisia. Uh, I'm in pain. I'm heartbroken for my country in seeing my people ripping themselves apart. The UN has called for a truce to let others escape Tripoli. The main route leads to Tunisia, where security forces are on high alert. This behind me is the road that leads to Libya. Now, security forces would not allow us to film any further, they say, as a precautionary measure, because just a few days ago, General Haftar tried to take control of this road from the Libyan side, but failed. This is of strategic importance, not just for the Libyans, but also for Tunisia. Tunisian security forces tell Al Jazeera they've counted 500 Libyan vehicles crossing the border in Razjir since warlord Khalifa Haftar began his offensive. It's not just civilians leaving. Members from rival groups have come for medical treatment, sometimes sharing the same doctors in the same ward. They lack medicine, they lack health care workers, they lack blood banks. They're in shortage of pretty much everything, so they come here for help. The unfolding crisis in Libya has brought an unexpected increase in trade for some Tunisian businesses. Many here have opened their doors. Their country could become a lifeline to many more Libyans if the conflict worsens. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Zazis, at the Tunisian-Libyan border.